This uh, chapter is just a bunch more solving. So we're just going to be solving more and more equations. And they'll get steadily more complicated until we won't have any more. So this is our last example before we're going to look at some new algebraic properties. Solve e to the 2x equals 5. Oh, man. How in the world can we solve for x here? I can't really write 5 as with the base of e very easily. If I worked really hard, I might be able to, but I don't want to work that hard. It's Friday. All right, let's think about where x is. So what are x's friends? x has a friend that's multiplied by 2, and it has a friend down here. I can get this one out of here. Think about how do you get this base to the other side. Natural log. So we're going to use the logarithm form. So we're going to go into a logarithm that'll move that base to the other side. So that'll be our first step here. So I'm going to rewrite it as the exponent equals log base e of 5. So I use the definition of a log here. I believe the other problems we generally got out of the log form into exponentials. This time we're going to intentionally go into the log form. All right, what's the last step to solve for x? It's only got one friend left. Divide by 2. So we got 1 half times log base e of 5. Now if you have a calculator, you can plug this in and it will give you an answer. Remember on web work, if this is your web work answer, you will have to write it as either ln5 over ln of e. Uh, and very soon we'll realize that natural log of e is 1, but we don't know that yet. You can also use log base 10. So you can use it log base 10 in web work as well. But you can't write it as log base e of 5 over 2. You can write it as log base e of 5. Oh, you mean can I do something with the coefficient? Like move it inside? Right, yeah. You can, but it goes in as a power. We'll see that very soon. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this would be a completely acceptable answer to me on a quiz or a midterm. Hint it, your midterm next week. This would be totally fine. But web work doesn't know how to do logs with different bases. So you have to use base E or base 10. All right, our last section is 6.3. It's going to feel very similar to 6.2. We're just going to have a few more algebraic properties that will let us solve some more types of problems. So in here, we're going to start with a few examples. So I want you to compute log base A of 1. So just like fractions, logs are difficult to think about. So what we're going to do is get out of log world. So I'm not sure what this is. So I'm just going to create a variable. I'm going to let y equal log base a of 1. You can use whatever letter you want. a would be a bad letter to use because it's already in use. But x, y, z, even b will work. All right. Now I want you to flip this around into an exponential. And then tell me what y is. So flip this around to an exponential. Definition is the most important thing to remember. So we turn it into an exponential. You basically move the base to the other side and rewrite it. All right. Uh, we're assuming a is a good base, just like it was in the last two sections. So don't have uh, you need between 0 and 1 or bigger than 1. 
So we're assuming A is a good base. A good base raised to what power will always equal 1? Zero. Zero. So almost any number to the 0 power is 1. Any number except 0 or negatives. Well, I think negatives to the 0 may also be 1. But certainly we know A to the 0 is 1. So that means Y equals, whoa, A to the 0 is 1. So that means Y equals 0. All right. What was Y? Why was that thing we were trying to find originally? I can see it right over here. So it was what we were looking for. And you said 1 isn't a good base? 1's not a good base because 1 to any power is 1. So you can't make any. I was going to say. So, so uh, if, if I had a slightly different problem, like uh, 1 to the y equals 1, you can't tell me what y is. Okay. Or I should say y could be any real number. And that's still true. So that's why it's not, uh, it's not a very useful base to use. All right, so that's our first identity right there in this section. So log base a of 1 equals 0. All right, we'll go for the next one. So I want you to tell me what is log base a of a. So do the exact same thing we did in the previous problem, which is let y equal this stuff. And then flip it around and tell me what y needs to be. So what power do I raise a to get itself back? 1. So in this case, y is 1. So this log a of a, or base a of a, is just 1. All right, so there's two identities we can use. So if we think about what is a log uh, in English, so if we just have a generic log base a of b, what does this really mean? So the way I'm going to describe it is I'm going to turn it around to an exponential. And then try to describe it in that way. So I'll move the base over a to the y equals b. All right, so I want to describe this situation right here. So log base a to the b means, and the perspective we're taking is y perspective. So it's the power you have to raise a to get b. So that's what a log means in English. So the power a must be raised to get b. And again, I use the, at the very bottom, a to the y equals b is a lot more useful for describing this. All right, so if you're describing a log to somebody, you can use these words. So I'll write down two more identities. We already have two at the top, but I'll write down two more, and then we'll go ahead and prove them. Actually, you know what? Let's just, <coughs> I'll just write this as simplify. All right, we're going to simplify the same way we did before. This is now a raised to a complicated power. So I'm going to let y equal this mess. And now flip it around to an exponential. It's a little bit strange because the exponent is complicated. So when I flip it around, what is the actual 
base in this equation. So our base is A right here. So I'm going to flip this into a logarithm. So we got log base A of Y equals log base A of M. So why am I allowed to cancel log base A and log base A? So I got the output of two functions is the same. What property of the function do you need to say the inputs have to be the same? So you know two outputs are the same. What property of that function do you need to say the inputs have to be the same? So the base does have to match. If the base didn't match, then the functions would be different. All right, so let's go back. So if I wrote this out <coughs> in regular function notation, so I'll let f equal log base a of x. I'll rewrite this statement right here. This is f of y equals f of m. What property of f do I need to conclude that y equals m? There is some property. I can't just say that the output matches, therefore the input matches. So it happens when f is 1 to 1. So if you have a 1 to 1 function, you know your outputs match, that had to come from the same input. So that's the 1 to 1 property right there. We saw the graph of log. We also know that log comes from, it's the inverse of the exponential. So just by its very definition, we know it's invertible. It has to be 1 to 1. So therefore, the logs cancel out, and you get y equals m. You can only cancel when you know your function is one to one. All right, so that means y equals m. So y was originally this entire thing. So we get that y equals m. So this entire thing equals m. And there's our next identity. So our last identity, we'll get it through simplification. So this is log base A of A raised to the R power. So I'm going to create a variable y equal to this thing that I don't know much about and then rewrite it as an exponential and tell me what y is. So we get that a to the y equals a to the r. As long as your base is nice, not 1 or 0 or any of the negatives, then you can say your powers are the same. So this whole thing simplifies down to R. So our last identity I'll just write down here. So if your base does not match the inside, the input to the log, you can still uh, move the r inside as an exponent, like this. All right, so we're going to use these properties to uh, find the exact values. All 
So this is 2 raised to the log base 2 of pi. Pi is just a letter. So I want you to simplify this down. One of the identities in a box will be useful here. It'll be one of these three identities on the board. All right, so which identity do we use? One, two, or three? One. So use number one. We got the base two matches the base two. So all that stuff cancels out to just pi. So unfortunately, this one does not quite match the, let's see. I want to try to match it up to the top one right there. What is wrong with our situation? How does our situation differ from the identity above? So my base is good, 4, but it doesn't match the other base of 16. How can I rewrite 16 with the base 4? Oh, there we go, 4 squared. So we got log base 4 of 4 squared to the square root 2. And how do I combine these two exponents together? So we got a power of a power. What do we do here? Multiply. So powers of powers of products. We got log base 4 of 4 to the 2 times square root 2. So once we have this situation, which of these three identities do we use? One, two, or three? Which identity is applicable here? It's number two. So our base is four, base is four. So the log basically completely cancels out, and we're left with that exponent only. So we got 2 square root 2 is our final, uh, simpli most simplified form we can get. So these are our last identities that I'm going to give you. So if you multiply inside of a log, that's the same as adding outside. If you divide inside, that's the same as subtracting outside. I already wrote this one above, but I'll rewrite it here. You can bring out exponents as products or coefficients. So these identities are going to be uh, useful for the next few problems we're going to do. All right, these are not true just because I said so. We will go ahead and prove one of them. We'll prove that first one up there. So we're going to prove that log base A of mn equals log a m plus log a n. All right, so logs are hard to think about. So what we're going to do instead is create some variables to stand in for log. 
So let x equal log a of m and y equal log a of n. And now I'm going to rewrite these <coughs> as exponentials. So I'll flip this around. This means a raised to the x power is m. And over here, a raised to the y power is n. All right, when you prove an identity, if you're going into uh, pre-calculus 2, you'll do a lot of trigonometry identities. So what you do to prove an identity is you pick one side and try to make it look like the other side. So we're going to start on one of the two sides. Um, I haven't really made a decision which side to start on. I'm going to do that right now. So what we're going to do is start on the left side. So I'm going to put the right side in a box and not touch it till the end. So this is our goal right there. So we're going to start here. So we're going to begin with log base a of mn. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite m and n in these forms right here. We do not have an identity that gets us out of this situation uh, directly. If I just look inside at the exponential part, what can I do right here? You can add the, add the exponents. So I can add the exponents. So let's go ahead and do that. I do have a log identity I can apply now. What does this simplify to? You can look back in your notes. I think there's only five identities now. Should be pretty clear which one to use. Um, x plus y. So this simplifies to x plus y. The base a, the other base a cancel out. All right, what in the world's x and y? It's not what we started with. So let's look back and see what x and y are. So I got them at the top of the board. x is log base a of m, and y is log base a of n. And that is what we were trying to get to originally. So we started on uh, the left side, which is at the top of the board now, and we finished at the other side, which is on the bottom. We did have to take a trip through uh, exponential land for a minute, so we can use that nice little sum property of the exponents. All right, the other ones you can prove, they work out in similar ways. If you divide, if it was m divided by n, I would basically just subtract the powers right there, and it would be really similar. <coughs> 